Another feature of the Scala for loop is the fact that we can declare variables inside of them. So to help motivate this, consider the example of the grid of points that we created in an earlier video where x and y each go from negative 1 to 1 by steps of point 1 and I'm just yielding the tuple of x, y. Now what I want to do is instead of having all of these or actually let's do this with a pattern so I want to make another collection called in range where I pull all x and y from grid so I'm using the pattern x y on this grid and I want to only pick values that are where the magnitude so the the distance from the origin to that x y coordinate is between 0.5 and 1 well for that I need an if and I could calculate the magnitude and then check to make sure that that is greater than 0.5 and calculate the magnitude again and make sure that it is less than 1.0 but the expression that would go here would actually be fairly long and it, it's, it's not that bad it's math dot square root of x squared uh, plus y squared but I don't want to have to duplicate it twice and I don't want Scala to, to potentially calculate it twice so it would be very nice typically when we're programming if we have something that's duplicated like that we want to introduce a variable for it and it turns out we can do exactly that so I can just say a name equals and then the value that I want to give it so math dot square root of x times x plus y times y and then I can say if mag is less than 0.5 and mag and this should actually be a greater than because otherwise this doesn't make sense and it won't have anything that satisfies it so if it's greater than 0.5 and less than 1.0 then I'm going to yield I want to yield not only the x and y values but also the magnitude that would be another place where if I didn't have the ability to declare variables I would have to duplicate this formula yet a third time. And there we go. We have a smaller collection, whereas this previous one started with negative 1, negative 1. Uh, this one does not. It starts with point negative 0.9 and point uh, negative 0.4. And then that gives us a magnitude very, very close to, to 1. We move a little bit closer in, and we have a magnitude again of 0.94 move in a little bit more 0.92 etc okay so this would be only the points that are in a certain annulus of, of the right distance but the ability to introduce a new variable inside of our for loop makes it so that this expression is is much nicer remember that if you're writing this inside of a script you can use curly braces on the for loop and then have each of these lines that here I'm separating by semicolons, you can just have them appear on separate lines. So we could say for curly brace, x, y in grid, enter, mag equals that, enter, if, whatever, close the curly brace, and then a yield. And that's probably what you'd want to do if you were writing this out in a script instead of doing it in the uh, REPL environment.